Welcome back to the Celtic Farm and our series on permaculture principles, where we explore how to design a garden that works with nature, not against it. I'm Master Gardener Steve, and today we're diving into one of the most powerful strategies in permaculture, self-sustaining closed loop systems. The system allows you to recycle resources within your garden, minimizing waste and reducing the need for external inputs. Let's explore how you can harness these principles to create a more efficient, productive, and resilient garden. So what exactly is a closed loop system? In nature, nothing goes to waste. Everything from plant matter to animal waste feeds back into the ecosystem. A closed loop system mimics this natural cycle where the waste from one process becomes the input for another. Imagine creating a garden where every resource is reused and nothing is wasted. By closing the loop, you make your garden more self-sufficient. Less dependence on external resources means fewer costs, fewer chemicals, and more natural abundance. One of the simplest ways to close loop in your garden is by integrating animals into your system. Animals, like chickens or rabbits, provide twofold benefit. They give you manure, which can be turned into natural fertilizer, and help control pests. For example, chickens can be allowed to roam in certain areas to scratch through the soil, aerating it, eating insects, and leaving behind nutrient-rich manure. That manure can then be composted and used to fertilize your vegetable beds, closing the loop on waste and nutrient recycling. Speaking of composting, this is one of the most effective ways to create closed loop system in your garden. Instead of sending food scraps or garden waste to the landfill, compost them. Over time, this organic matter breaks down into nutrient rich hummus, which feeds your plants and improves soil health. Composting isn't just about recycling waste, it's about regenerating your soil. Healthy soil leads to healthy plants, and healthy plants produce more organic material, which can be composted again. It's a never-ending cycle of fertility. Water is a precious resource, and in permaculture, we aim to make the most of every drop. A gray water system captures used household water from sinks, showers, and laundry, filtering it and sending it directly into your garden. This reduces your water bill and ensures that no water goes to waste. By reusing gray water, you're creating a closed loop system for water in your home. Plants get hydrated while helping you conserve resources, making your garden more sustainable. Another simple yet powerful closed loop strategy is using mulch made from organic waste. Grass clippings, fallen leaves, and garden trimmings can all be repurposed as mulch. Not only do they suppress weeds and conserve moisture, but they also feed the soil as mulch breaks down. Mulch returns nutrients to the soil, boosts microbial activity, and keeps your plants healthier, closing the loop on organic waste while reducing your reliance on synthetic fertilizers. If you're looking for a creative way to build a self-sustaining system, consider hugo culture. This method uses logs, branches, and organic debris as the base of a raised garden bed. As the wood decays, it acts as a sponge, retaining moisture and slowly releasing nutrients into your plants. Once established, a hugo culture bed requires little to no irrigation, as the decaying wood holds water like a reservoir. It's natural, long-term solution that closes the loop on organic waste and water conservation. In a self-sustaining garden, it's important to manage pests without harmful chemicals. Companion planting is an excellent way to do this. By growing plants that naturally repel pests or attract beneficial insects, you create a balanced ecosystem where nature does the work for you. For example, planting marigolds near vegetables deters pests like aphids while herbs like basil can keep mosquitoes at bay. Beneficial insects like ladybugs also thrive in this environment, further reducing the need for pesticides and keeping the cycle of growth and protection continuous. By incorporating self-sustaining closed loop systems, you're not only reducing waste, you're regenerating your garden's natural ecosystem. Every element works together to support one another, making your garden more resilient, productive, and sustainable. Whether it's composting, integrating animals, using gray water, or companion planting, each small step contributes to a thriving closed-loop system. 
Start applying these permaculture principles today and watch your garden transform into a self-sustaining paradise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more permaculture tips and sustainable gardening techniques. Your garden is part of nature's cycle. Embrace it and let it flourish.